Treasury stock represents shares that were once a part of the outstanding shares of a company's stock but were subsequently repurchased by the company. These shares are an important concept for anyone preparing for the Certified Management Accountant CMA Part 2 exam, focusing on financial decision-making as they can significantly impact a company's financial statements and shareholder value. When a company buys back its own shares, those shares become treasury stock. These shares do not convey voting rights and do not pay dividends, essentially existing in a state of limbo. They are not considered when calculating earnings per share, EPS, or dividends per share, DPS, and are subtracted from the total outstanding shares. Treasury stock is recorded in the shareholders' equity section of the balance sheet as a contra-equity account. This means it has a debit balance, unlike most other equity accounts that have credit balances. Its purchase reduces cash, an asset, and overall shareholders' equity impacting the company's debt-to-equity ratio. Buying back stock can increase the EPS by reducing the number of outstanding shares, which can make the company appear more profitable and attractive to investors. However, the act of buying treasury stock does not directly affect the income statement. The effects are felt indirectly through the per share metrics. The purchase of treasury stock is shown in the financing activities section of the cash flow statement, reflecting the outflow of cash for the repurchase. Companies often buy back shares to signal confidence in their future prospects, which can help support or increase the stock price. Repurchasing shares can be a way to adjust the company's capital structure. By reducing equity, a company can increase its debt-to-equity ratio, potentially lowering its weighted average cost of capital, WACC. Companies with excess cash might choose to buy back shares as a way to return value to shareholders, especially if they believe the shares are undervalued. From a tax perspective, share repurchases can be more efficient than dividends as a method of returning cash to shareholders. Dividends are taxable income for shareholders, whereas selling shares back to the company can be a capital gain which might be taxed at a lower rate depending on the jurisdiction and the shareholder's situation.